Today Apple announced macOS Mojave, the latest installation of its desktop operating system. Let's take a look. Today, Apple released a major update to macOS and introduced the first real cosmetic changes that we've seen since Yosemite. So I have the developer preview of Mojave installed and let's go through and take a look at some of the most important updates that this new operating system brings. So the first and my personal favorite is the new dark mode that has come to macOS. Now this isn't the first time that Apple has made changes like this. Starting in El Capitan, you've had the option to change the menu bar and the dock to run in dark mode. But this new dark mode is a lot more extensive and affects not only the menu bar and dock, but all of your windows and applications as well. So far, I have to say, I really like this new dark aesthetic. I think it works really well, especially since it's more coherent now that it applies to all your applications and windows as well as the menu bar and dock. So to complement this new dark mode, Apple introduced a really cool feature called dynamic desktop. And basically what this does is, based on your location and the time of the day, your wallpaper will actually change. Now currently there is only one wallpaper that can take advantage of this new feature, it's the default Mojave background, but you'll notice that from dawn to dusk, your background will actually change from light to dark. One thing that I also noticed is not only does the new dark mode apply to the windows, but they even changed some of the icons. So the folder icons are just a little bit darker than they used to be. One of the other important redesigns that Mojave brings is a fresh new look to the App Store. It now looks more coherent with the iTunes user interface that was updated last year. And the whole thing looks really slick and a lot better than it did before. Now, one of the more important usability updates that Mojave brings is a new feature called Stacks. And basically, this is aimed to help those that have really cluttered desktops. I myself don't have that cluttered a desktop, but I know a lot of people who do, and this feature is really, really helpful. So basically what Stacks does is it'll take your jumbled mess of a desktop and sort everything by the type of icon and the type of file that it is. So all you have to do to activate this is right click on your desktop and choose a sort by option and it'll create these very neat little stacks of icons on your desktop. To view the contents of the stack, all you have to do is click on it and it'll give you a drop down of everything that it piled up. Additionally, Apple also brought over four apps from iOS to macOS. They brought over news, stocks, home, and voice memos. Particularly interesting is the way that Apple ported these apps directly over from iOS. Here to explain more about how that works is Noah from Pogo Coding and More. So when Apple brought these four apps over from iOS, they didn't just build new similar experiences, they actually ported the code that ran on iOS over to macOS. And the way that they did this was they brought part of UIKit which is the framework that you use to develop apps for iOS over to macOS. So the apps that are running on the Mac are actually the same code that the iOS apps are using. Now this is just a preview and this technology won't be available to developers until next year, but it's a really cool look at the future of Apple as it begins to bring macOS and iOS closer and closer together. Additionally, Apple added some really cool security features to Safari on macOS. Essentially, these security features work to eliminate the digital fingerprint that certain data companies use to track you. Essentially, they look at some identifying information, including fonts you have installed, plugins you have installed, and other pieces of information in order to figure out who you are in a sea of people and thus track you even if they don't have any better information than just that. And so essentially, Safari is exposing the minimum amount of data required to make websites work, but of course not too much that they can actually do a good job of tracking you. So this is great for people who care about security, which of course should be everyone. Additionally, Apple also made some interesting changes to the preview window. If you press spacebar to view an image with preview, you now have access to a whole bunch of tools like cropping, rotations, and markup. Another fun new feature is the bottom right side of the dock shows the last three applications you used 
that are not pinned in the dock, so they're there for easy access. So overall, Mojave is bringing a lot of really solid changes to the macOS operating system. That's a really redundant sentence, isn't it? So once macOS Mojave is released later this year, I think a lot of people are going to find it not only a better looking experience, but a much more functional experience. And while there may not be too many updates, I think the changes to the UI and the usability of the App Store, as well as the new security and privacy in Safari, are more than welcome to the operating system. So that'll do it for today's video. As usual, make sure to follow me on Twitter at Luke Miani. Don't forget to join my subreddit and I will see you guys in the next video.